Welcome to the Adam Does Movies podcast. I'm your host, Adam, of course, and today on the episode, I wanted to go over the topic of Hollywood stars, celebrities, people that are at the upper echelon of society, of high world class, doing movies, talking pictures, and of course, putting their foot in their mouths. They're just like us. They really are. I mean, they're they're us, but with all the money and uh, all the power and things at their disposal that would make them um, their true self, I guess. Uh, oftentimes, people look at celebrities and say, you know, I can't relate to this person. They're completely out of touch with uh, the common man. And I understand that to a point. A lot of them have grown up now at this point. Nepo babies. Their mom or dad was in the acting business. They, they grew up in Hollywood. So they really only know what they know from, uh, you know, the experiences that they've lived, which typically is in a mansion surrounded by like-minded people. But there are plenty of stars that came from nothing, that rose the ranks, that, that climbed on the shoulders of their fellow man and sprung ahead to become A-list celebrities. And those are the ones I find more interesting. But that being said, they all say stupid shit, just like you and I do. Sometimes it's speaking to the uh, the masses and, and just kind of putting it out there and saying, listen, I'm, I'm willing to die on this hill and say what needs to be said. And at other times, they're just straight up saying racist shit like Roseanne Barr and getting kicked off your own show, which is crazy. But um, yeah, I look at it from both sides of the coin. Now, cancel culture, that was a thing. I think it still might be. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not relevant enough to really get any blowback of any sorts from it. I also don't say dumb crap. That's another thing that's kind of important. You know, when you're, when you're selling yourself or building a brand or an image and putting yourself out there, it's good to kind of, you know, take a step back and think before you say things. Think before you tweet things or X things. I don't even know what it's called anymore. Elon Musk completely screwed the pooch on this whole Twitter fiasco. It's a nightmare now. What, what, what do I call anything, Elon, you ass? Anyway, uh, rant aside about Twitter. I just don't understand. Like, let's take Gina Carino, for instance. You're working for multi-billion, trillion dollar company, Disney. You're on a show called The Mandalorian. You're not a great actress. Let's put that out there. And that's fine. There's plenty of actors that aren't great either. That have, you know, S Stallone, Schwarzenegger, Jean-Claude Van Damme, uh, Steven, freaking, what's his name? Who's the guy that always fights um, walruses and uh, uh, Steven Seagal. <laughs> Remember that gem of an actor? Yeah, I would say these guys are... Uh, they're not going to be winning any Oscars, but they are really good at what they do. They play to their strengths and we'll get more on that later. But my point is when you're Gina Carino and you have this awesome once in a lifetime opportunity to be on a show called the Mandalorian, maybe don't keep tweeting out shit that goes off brand from Disney. Regardless of what she's saying is true or has merit, I, I truly don't even know what she tweeted or said on interviews. I just know that she was kicked off The Mandalorian for saying things after being warned several times. And that seems to be the pattern with these idiots is they don't know when to stop. Or maybe it's a calculated risk they're willing to take and she already had other things lined up and she didn't need the Mandalorian. I'm not sure. I, I also don't care that much. I just find it fascinating how people are so excited to completely destroy an actor or actress over putting their foot in their mouth. I, I mean, I do see this on my channel even, which is by no means, you know, a huge popular successful hit show. It's just... You know, I put out videos constantly, so I'm going to get blowback. I'm going to get pushback when I say something that, um, you know, is, is incorrect. Maybe I flub the name of an actor or actress, which is very commonplace for me. Or perhaps I get the date wrong. Or I just have a take that's different than others. I've been noticing, and this has been going on since the beginning of the internet, since the beginning of time. I notice people will go out of their way to say really shitty things 
just to prop themselves up because their life isn't that interesting. They're a sad individual. They have nothing going on. So the easiest way to cling to some sort of value, I guess, is to devalue someone else, to put them down, to check them. I have never in my life gone on a YouTube channel and started talking shit about the creator. I don't even... I don't even know how you get in that mindset. I fully understand going and watching a video, not agreeing with the person and saying, hey, I think you're wrong and here's why. But I guess maybe that's too rational of an approach to think others could take. I mean, others do take that, but <laughs> there's a good amount of people now that don't. And there's even more people that profit on the stupid stuff. Hollywood members say stupid stupid stuff. See, I'm tripping up. People are gonna call me out. Brie Larson, Hollywood darling, Brie Larson. Many years, she's built an entire cottage industry for people around giving her shit for two or three things max that she said that were maybe out of line to some people or taken out of context, most likely for others. It doesn't matter. They're making a lot of, I shouldn't say a lot, but they are making money off of this. They're building up a base. They're building up followers who agree. Like, yeah, how dare she get on her high horse and say this movie's not for men. Out of context, it doesn't matter. She said something, it was stupid, and people are going to call her on it, and then they're going to keep calling her on that same thing over and over. Well, now we have the newest flavor of the week, Rachel Zegler. I'm sure I said that wrong. She was in Shazam 2. She was in that Spielberg film that I don't think many people saw. It was a remake. What was that called? I should look it up quick. Uh, Rachel Zegler, IMDb. I'm going to kick a West Side Story. Yeah, Spielberg's West Side Story. It's, it's, nobody saw it. It's crazy. I still haven't seen it. I heard it's amazing too. And I heard she's really good in it. What she's not good at is, um, Speaking publicly about the new film Snow White that no one asked for. She's going to be in that. She's Snow White. Rachel Zegler, Snow White. It just makes sense for Disney. And I believe the seven dwarves aren't even dwarves anymore or referred to dwarves. They're something else because they're trying to be politically correct to a fictitious race of characters, I guess. I don't I don't know what the hell's going on at Disney either. They, they're just completely insane at some points with their decisions. But Rachel is, is, is going for broke and just completely bashing the original Snow White, saying how the love story's lame. They might have some sort of a love interest in this if they allow the dude to even be in the final cut because Hollywood edits the crap out of the movies. She's being kind of tongue in cheek. She's coming off incredibly unlikable. I'm sorry, but she really is. And this isn't a man or woman interview thing. I've actually died on the hill for Brie Larson over the years. I don't get all the hate she gets. She's a good looking blonde actress who can actually act. And she was in a pretty mediocre movie called the Avenger or called Captain Marvel. And then they keep shoehorning her into things and it's not good. The character sucks. But Brie Larson seems perfectly charming and fine um, when she's not being interviewed. <laughs> Rachel Zegler, though, uh, I, I'm not getting good vibes from this actress. She's really aggressive with her thoughts on Snow White, a property I don't give two shits about. And I think most people have kind of moved past. So it, it's like there are these hot takes that she's putting out that no one asked for, but people certainly seem to be upset about. So we're seeing just... I mean, I'm seeing in my feed hundreds and hundreds of TikTok reactors holding up their stupid little microphone and going off about Rachel Zegler's comments. How dare you? How dare you attack this movie? You have no idea. And she really doesn't. I think she only watched the original recently one time and wasn't a fan. So it's definitely insulting to then cast her in, as the character and then all these other people, you know, look at her and say, well, there's thousands, hundreds of thousands of other actors out there that could probably go out and play this part, but you go for her. Now she can sing. She is cute. She is a hot up and coming star. That's the reason Disney picked her. That's the reason they always go for these different actresses. Plus she's not white as hell. 
which is Snow White's skin color, so they get to also play off the drama by casting someone a little bit more diverse for the character, who's literally white as hell, according to the story. <laughs> but they're taking it a different direction, right? They're shaking things up. So why call it Snow White? Why not just make it its own property? Well, Disney wants to capitalize on the name. It has nothing to do with preserving their um, their classics, right? It has nothing to do with respecting what came before. It's all about cashing in on the name Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And apparently they think there's still uh, gold to mine from those dwarves. And they're going to do it. This whole Rachel Zegler thing on Snow White, um, I think it's funny. I think she said some stupid shit, but I'm not going to come out with 35 videos on the topic and blast her and act all offended and clutch my pretend pearls like a lot of these other channels are doing because it's a great way to get eyeballs on you and get people to, you know, working people up over things that don't matter in the slightest is just the epitome of the last several years, isn't it? That's really the, the bread and butter of online and people that truly have too much time on their hands and really are, I think, a little bit privileged in that respect. If you can get up every day, go on YouTube and get pissed off that an actor said something stupid, something's going right. Something's going right in your life. Or very wrong. Maybe very wrong because you clearly need to find a hobby or a passion project. Like myself, I have a full-time job where I I design websites and I develop them on a front end, um, you know, landscape. And then I have my hobby, which is my YouTube channel, which I also treat as a second job. I put a lot of time and energy into it. Plus I have a wife and kids. I work out every day. Like I, I feel like I'm a well-rounded individual and I look at the comments and I see some of the things people say on the day to day. And I just think, what the fuck is wrong with people? Why are they so obsessed about this? Why are they so just in insulted by someone saying something dumb? Here's the hard cold truth about actors. They are legitimately the exact same as you and I. They either got incredibly lucky landing a role. Well, that's always in play. Getting incredibly lucky and getting the role, that that's it's a needle in a haystack situation unless you know someone in the industry or your dad is Sylvester Stallone or Uma Thurman or whatever, you are really going to have to, to, to put it all out there every single day to try to land a role. And, um, yeah, that, that's, that's a dangerous game. I never went down that road because I just, I couldn't see myself living out of a car or trying to be a waiter while also auditioning for roles. It, incredibly hard, stressful, stressful, stressful situation. This is why a co-host helps once in a while to keep me from stumbling over my own stupidity. But yeah, actors, they're, they're genuinely, you know, just like us with a lot of money. And they, they say really dumb things. They have dumb opinions, just like you and I. I. I said a lot of stupid things in my time. Thankfully, a lot of it wasn't on camera. Opinions change over time. There's lots of celebrities that 10 years back were not near as progressive as they claim to be today. Or they maybe really are progressive today, but they weren't last week. You can change opinions. You can sculpt minds. All it takes is a close friend or a colleague or someone you respect or listen to daily to kind of start turning the wheels in your head and saying, hey, you know what? Maybe um, that photo you did 12 years ago where you're in blackface, not the best look. Maybe you should try to remove that from your, your timeline and throw out an apology if you want or just let it go. But then on the other hand, you have these miserable individuals these sad sacks of shit that will go out of their way to comb through your entire history. Again, I'm talking about going through celebrity history. It's not mine. Nobody cares about me. And finding that photo that's distasteful. Finding that tweet from a decade back. Finding that post on Facebook you said at three in the morning when you were really upset and didn't really mean it. And they will use that shit against you. They will target you with it. Rachel Zegler's throwing it all up front. 
She's showing exactly who she is. She's saying exactly what she thinks. She's not hiding it. So in that respect, uh, you know, fair play. I like that a lot more than I like the person that says something but is doing something completely different. That's the person I don't care for. Uh, Rachel says some dumb stuff. That's fine. That, that's her prerogative, Bobby Brown. I don't have any, any issue. What she said, I don't agree with. But, but, you know, the fact that she's saying it, okay, we'll see where that takes you <laughs> in Hollywood. We'll see where you end up off of that. I think that Disney sits back on stuff like this and goes, okay, let's see if this bad press is good press for us. They have not had some wins lately. They've had a lot of losses. Their shows are not doing well. Their movies have been bombing lately. Indiana Jones lost a ton of money. I think Elemental broke even. It might have actually started making money. And that was a good film. I enjoyed that. I think word of mouth really helped take that forward. Haunted Mansion, there isn't a chance in hell that made a dime. I bet that lost quite a bit of money. There's several others that aren't jumping to the top of my head, but I know they're out there. And um, yeah, so this Rachel stuff, maybe they're looking at it and thinking, well, controversy might spring spring some people going to the theaters to watch this. I don't know. I haven't seen a single thing about Snow White. I don't care about this movie. It's probably going to be hot trash because all these live action remakes range from competent to pretty awful with maybe one diamond in the rough, but for the most part, they're just rough. And this isn't going to change. I think that um, because we do have this outrage culture and people are enjoying watching and listening to people get freaked out about stuff, that it's just going to get worse and worse. Anytime someone says, anytime someone steps just a little bit out of line, they're going to try to cancel them or they're going to freak out at them. And then they're going to claim that it's awful when it happens the other way around, right? Like, you know, so-and-so made a movie about this and they stand by this, but they're getting thrown under the bus and they're trying to cancel them because he believes in this God or he goes to this church or, you know, the he's against this or that. And then they'll turn around and they'll try to cancel someone else. For something that they don't agree with it's stupid on both sides i hate it and it won't change you know we've had the crappy smut magazines i don't mean porn i'm i'm, I'm all good with that we have had the cup the crappy smut magazines meaning the like uh the, the gossip tabloids those were big before the internet was around i i knew parents that had those on their on their couch and things it was always like did tom cruise marry an alien and they had a baby together did so-and-so, you know, it, it's all just insane propositions. But that's really what's happening on TikTok and YouTube. They're taking the insane stuff and they're just kind of running with what real people say. And then they put their twist on it. So, oh, Rachel Zegler said this. But what she's really saying is she hates this and that. And da, 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 it just spirals out of control. My take, I think, is a sensible one. Let's, uh, let's allow actors and actresses to make mistakes, to say dumb things, because we're human and we err. That, that, that's a thing that we do a lot of. We err as, to err as human, as they say. And maybe we forgive once in a while. Maybe we don't even need to forgive. Maybe there's nothing to forgive. They just have their opinion and we leave it up to their boss, their employer, to make the final decision. In the case of... You know, Rachel, it's going to be Disney. If it goes against, if it goes off brand, if it goes against their whatever agreements they made, then they can Mandalorian her ass too and say, you know what? We warned you, you're still putting out stuff that goes against how we feel as a company, the stances we take. You do not represent us in the best light. And since we do pay your bills, you can, you can show yourself out because you're done. And uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't think that's going to happen. But I, do, I also don't think she's as disposable as maybe... Uh, uh, who was the chick I was talking about? I, I want to say Ronda, Ronda Rousey, but that's not... The other, the other uh, fighter woman. I already forgot her name. She's not as disposable, I don't think. But maybe everyone is with the House of Mouse. Oh, ha -ha, 
Sorry, Rachel, I saw what you were doing. Ha ha, you motherfucker, get out of here. Ha ha. Mickey's vicious. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the, uh, the actors putting their foot in their mouth? Do you think they're just completely out of touch? They don't understand the common man? Or do you think maybe it's they're out of touch sometimes with what you think? But maybe not with what someone else thinks. Or maybe we should just, you know, let them be. Let them have their dumb interviews. Let them say their dumb stuff. Uh, man, Bruce Willis used to say stupid shit all the time. He was a terrible interviewee. There was a Harrison Ford was a terrible interviewee too. The stuff that you could go back and look at stuff Clint Eastwood said, or I'm sure a lot of these older dogs and you would be like, Oh my God, how did that person continue acting? Well, because most people just kind of didn't pay attention to that stuff. Whenever there was interviews, press tours, things like that, really it was just movie buffs watching it. And you didn't really care about their personal opinions anyways. You just wanted to hear them talk about their films. And that's, that's probably how we should leave it, right? Separate the art from the artist. I mean, you almost have to. There's a lot of whack jobs out there. <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to enjoy anything if you were keeping a checklist of the bad people in Hollywood or just in general. You wouldn't enjoy anything. Okay, let me know if you're on YouTube. Leave a comment, please. Like the video if you like the video. And subscribe if you're new here. I would love to have you stick around. If you're on Spotify or Apple Podcasts and you stumbled on that for the first time, subscribe as well. I would love to have more ears on the show as well. All right. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll catch you next time.